Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Wednesday, September 2nd, 2015, around 4.54 in the afternoon, Bellica, Massachusetts. Been a hot one today, sunny, highs over 90 degrees, little hum humid, but m not, not like oppressive heat. And 11th time this year that Boston's Logan Airport reached 90 degrees. It took to July 19th for Boston Logan Airport to first officially record a 90 degree day. But Boston's on pace for an average of 14 um, 90 degree, get degree days. That's what's an average in a year. So Boston's on, a on pace for average. Some news to report. Um, NHL defenseman Bryce, Bryce Salvador announced his retirement after 14 seasons in the National Hockey League. He most played, recently played for the New, New, New Jersey Devils. And sad news to report in the world of entertainment, actor G Dean Jones passed away at the age of 84. He starred in several Disney movies. He's been battling Parkinson's disease the past several years. So prayers to his family and a sure sign of falls coming. I had a pumpkin swell um, Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee today. Pretty good. I, I like Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. I'm going to have to try a pumpkin donut. That's about it on the news. My next video subject of the day is candidates to replace um, Dave O'Brien on WEEI's broadcast of Red Sox games in 2016. This person will probably be teamed up with Joe Castiglione. Um, Dave O'Brien is moving to Nesson to become the Red Sox play-by-play -play announcer replacing Don Ocello. And there's an opening for the Red Sox radio for an announcer. And here are the top candidates, in my humble opinion, that is that sh should take Dave O'Brien's spot on the radio to team with Joe Castiglione on Sports Radio WEI. Our top candidate should be Josh Maurer, who is currently the Pawtucket Red Sox play-by-play -play voice on the radio and stuff like that. That he would be good teaming with Joe Castiglione and stuff because the Pawtucket Red Sox radio job many many announcers have to had that over the years. Eventually they went on to big league careers announcing like Gary Cohen who's now with the Mets and Dave Fleming who's with the Giants and Dave D Jagler, who did the, um, the Senators, I mean, the uh, Nationals on the radio, and Don Osillo, who's going to get fired by the Red Sox at the end of the, years, of the year, among others. So, Josh could be a good candidate. Another good candidate to replace Dave O'Brien to team up with Joe Castiglione is John List. John filled in for, for like, um, Dave O'Brien from time to time over the years doing Red Sox games. He's also did some fill-in work for Nesson and stuff. But the problem with John List, he has a full-time job outside of sports broadcasting. And I don't think he, I don't know if he wants to give that up to do Red Sox play-by-play -play announcing. He but you never know and stuff if they, if they if he's offered a lot of money, he'll do it and have like the following winter off. Another candidate that should be considered to replace Dave O'Brien as Joe Castiglione's new partner on Red Sox games on the radio for WEEI is John Mita Perel. John Mita Perel does is the play by play play by play voice of the Boston College Football Eagles and the Boston College men's basketball team. He does it for the ISP Sports Radio Network. Their the flagship affiliate is WEEI 93.7 and stuff. And John Mita Perel could go do Red Sox games on the radio because he, he has a you know, great voice and stuff. But he's mainly st st doing college um, sports. Maybe he loves doing them, but he would be good doing Red Sox play-by-play -play, um, announcing and stuff with Joe Castiglione. Some other long shots I would cons that should be considered is Dale Arnold, who 
who could fill in, who's filled in for Red Sox games over the past, but they'll host a popular sports talk show in the middle of the day for WEI. Plus, he's the Bruins um, host on Nessan, so that's an idea that's not really being considered, but I would love Dale to do the Red Sox games on the radio. And maybe another choice could be have like a color man like Rob Bradford, who writes for WEEI.com. He's been doing some fill in work when Dave O'Brien's doing Nessan gigs. I mean, ESPN gigs and Lou M Maloney, former Red Sox player, and stuff like that. And uh, he's filled in from time to time as a color analyst and stuff like that. But like, the, oh, oh, for the past 30 years, it's usually two play-by-play -play announcers who done the Red Sox games on the radio. Usually Joe Castiglione does the innings 1, 2, um, 8, and 9, and the other, Dave, has been doing the middle innings and stuff like that. And they probably will go with somebody younger and stuff like that because it's that's going to be somebody who's going to be the eventual successor to Joe Castiglione when he finally retires and stuff like that. And I, I bet it would, would probably be, be either um, uh, the, the guy from Pawtucket or maybe John Mead Perel or John West as kind of like the odds on favorites and stuff. The others are just like long shot candidates and stuff like that. I would love to see somehow Ted Sarandis do Red Sox games on the radio for a year or so because he, he used to do the BC College basketball games and he could say Boston and his famous quote is Boston College basketball is the best game in town wow and I don't think Sean McDonough would ever come back to do Red Sox games on the radio he's busy with um, ESPN plus he left the Red Sox on the bad terms and stuff like that and that's about it on that and I'll be back for the third and final video blog of the night the personality profile tonight's personality profile will be about um um Predators go tend to peck a weenie. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rosenblatt, a Fox 35 rocks and has like, nice legs. Elizabeth Hart of Local 6 rocks and has nice legs. And Amy Swansea of Wish 2 rocks and has nice legs. And the words of Sean Nucha. Get out. See you later. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Bye.